Oh boy, another all-American clown show. They call this one the Met Gala. Another word for costume day at the mental hospital. <laughs> First up, we got an aluminum sea monster. They must have flushed the tank at the Ripley's Aquarium. How long were you in makeup today? No. Oh, it's making cat noises now. Hilarious. Okay. Yeah, because that's a genuine reaction. What about the people in line with the look of regret on their face for showing up to this sideshow? Is it your first mat? Here's another one. Who? Wait, so who made it? Wow. Listen to these phonies. This is like watching people talk to the puppets on Sesame Street. Oh, a pirate. Yeah. Wow. Wow. No one will ever tell these people this is stupid. I love how they think this is so original. Doja did not disappoint. Decked out in custom Oscar la Dolorenta. She finished off her look with a prosthetic cat nose and cat ears. You could just buy a cat costume at the Halloween store and they'd rant and rave about it. As long as you show up. Now what do you know? He's got the right idea. Yeah, now it's a furry convention. Here's Erica Badu, looking like a melting yeti. Oh, look, it's Rihanna. Decided to show up looking like a fashionable tampon. I mean, is there any rhyme or reason for any of this? Yeah, nice carpet. What's this one inspired by? Triple action toothpaste? Yeah, and this guy's wearing it. What a sideshow. I mean, look at this place. You got roaches running around in here. Yeah, and second thought, that might actually be Jada Pinkett Smith trying to sneak in. She must have shapeshifted into her original form. She had a photo! No wonder they're snapping pictures of her. Yeah! Oh, this place is vile. Look at the people who go to this. You got P. Diddy. Guy's so full of himself, he made his date wear his pubes. Me and Karisha, we're dating, and we're just enjoying ourselves, and this is what comes with dating me. Oh my goodness, Rihanna! Listen to these people losing their minds over this. Yeah! This woman is climaxing over this. Look at this guy. He's going to have to change his pants now. Who the f*** is Carl? Oh, this guy. The fashion industry's Mr. Burns. Yeah, let's celebrate a guy who paved the way for $10,000 purses and $850 sweaters. Don't tell me they're paying tribute to his cat. You know what this shows? If the world would have ended in, let's say, 2005, we really wouldn't have missed anything. Wow. Wow. Okay, so something a little different. Wow. Wow. 